Hi everybody, welcome back to Granny's Sewing Room. My name is Sherry and today is Friday Sews. So go check out the hashtag Friday Sews and you'll see a lot of great sewers that will educate and entertain you. So go check them out. Let me tell you what I did this week. First of all, I hope you go check out Chris from Sew Notes and April from Sew April. We did a collab this uh, last month of making a bag and it's the Augustina bag from Shambelli and uh, I can't show it to you because my granddaughter already picked hers up but go look out check out their bags they really turned out great and we had so much fun doing this collab we talked every night uh, on Instagram and we do have another uh, collab in the works we are challenging ourselves to do things a little out of our comfort zone and uh, let's see how that how that turns out but we do have another collab in the works and uh, hope you will enjoy that one as well as this one so go check out their channels I'll put their description or their channel link in the description below so what did I sew this week well I had another bag I had to sew but uh, the gal come and picked it up yesterday so I had a harlequin bag I had to make and I will insert a picture of that bag for you somewhere in this video. <laughs> but anyway, and what else did I do? I managed to go get uh, two more desks and I assembled the desk and I've got all my sewing machines sitting around. And when I sit here and I look at it all, I think I am blessed beyond measure. I cannot tell you. I just look at it and I think, Oh Lord, thank you. Thank you. Now let me be faithful to use each and every um, sewing machine that you provided for me. So that's that's what I want. I just look at it in awe. But I'm going to show that to you and I'm going to insert a little video of all my sewing space and update of my sewing room. Update on my sewing room and the desk that I've went and bought and put together. So this whole wall, I put three desks, one for each of my machines. Now my cover stitch I just put over there in the corner because I use it the least. And I can just slide that over to use. Then that beast right there is my embroidery machine, my ironing station. And then I am going to be working, not this month, hopefully toward the end of next month, my uh, cutting table. I bought four of the cubies. So I'll be working on my cutting table next. Under there, I would like to get, uh, Walmart used to have three drawers or, or shelves. Uh, so I'd like to put that under there. I gotta figure out where I want my interfacing for my bags so I can keep them and know what they're what I have on hand. Okay, this is the update. On my sewing room. Still have to work on my wiggly uh, cutting table, but that won't be this month because what I have in the works for next week is I have two more bags to make. I have uh, two toothberry pillows to make and I have a t-shirt to make. My niece ordered, put in a quite large order, but uh, I am uh, working on them. And when I get done here, I'm gonna start cutting out the two bags that I have to make. Uh, I'm liable to set up the camera and just do a fast speed of me sewing and cutting and just something to put up so you might enjoy just watching me sit and make a bag. But. Uh, what I, when I went and got my desk, I want to show you the little haul I got. I went to Hobby Lobby, and uh, 
I keep looking for something I want to hang on my wall, but then I watch my videos and I'm standing. I would be standing right where the saying would be. But uh, I picked up this. And it has a bunch of letters to it. But And I could put the scripture on this each week or each month or whenever. But I don't know half the time if the scripture that I want would fit there. So I guess I could uh, just put where you could find the scripture. But I don't know. I thought maybe put it up high enough. But I don't know if you would be able to see it because this is awful small. Then my other thought was, uh, let me grab it. Okay, my other thought was just to make a few of these up. My favorite scriptures, because you can get the canvas fairly inexpensive. And I would just interchange the saying each time. So if God brings you to it, God will bring you through it. So that's another idea. Uh, and then I always have them and... I can pass these down to kids once I'm gone. So, anyway, that's an idea, too. This, I think, is going to be too small, and I don't know. I'm thinking about taking that back. But, anyway, what else did I get? Uh, I had to get some marine vinyl, so I went and picked up this while it was on sale. But I am going to be making me a bag that um, Chris from Sew Notes made, and she's the one that really piqued my interest in bag making when I seen her bag like I can't remember the name of it I know it's from Emmeline and I keep wanting to think it's the Laney bag but I'm not for certain but um, I thought this looked beautiful together so I keep seeing the Laney bag in this if that's the name of it but it's from Emmeline and um so I'm go that's going to be my bag. And it's not going to be right away because I have other things that I have on my plate right now to get done. I want to get my dress started before we start our lunches. And then I picked up this fabric. Because I had a lot of uh, marine vinyl uh, gifted to me. And this piece, this was from, they got from Hancock Fabrics. And you know how long ago that was when they were going out of business. But I had a piece like this from Walmart, but this, I think, is nicer. I don't know. It seems nicer. And then I got this gifted to me. And there is quite a bit here. I bet there's a good yard, two yards of, of it. But I thought this would make a beautiful bag. Look at that. Isn't that nice? But, um, so that was my haul and my gift from uh, Hobby Lobby. And uh, this I already had. This is going to be the lining to one of the bags I'm making this weekend. But those are my plans for next week. I have a big order I have to get done and get out of, get out of here by next week. And then I'm going to focus on my dress and I know I picked out the dress for it already and I think it's from Emporium Patterns that I bought it from. It's going to be a, a three tier but I think I'm only going to do the two tier ruffle dress. This is a woven so I have to find something with a woven and I know I wanted the ruffles in it. The I, for, I don't know what they call it. A pebblum dress maybe I, I'm not sure but that's what I want to make out of this and I really want to get that started next week and then uh, and then we're going to be on to the uh, so frugal challenge and I'm excited for that I think I've narrowed down the patterns I'm going to be making for that and I'm going to be making something that I know I'm going to wear at least once a week I'm going to wear it once a week uh, I enjoyed making my dress last year, but I've only worn it once, and that was just around the house. So I'm making me something I know I am going to get a lot of use out of it. And uh, I think I've got it narrowed down to three patterns. So I'm excited for that to come up. Uh, what else? Life. Life has been good. Been busy. I keep myself very busy as much as possible. 
don't give myself uh, too much time to think about negative things. So I'm just trying to stay positive, keep going, and uh, think positive. So, And I want to thank all of you guys. You guys really help uh, cheer me on. You help give me uh, confidence. You boost my morale. So thank you all. Thank you all for helping me get out of my depression. Because if it wasn't for YouTube and the beautiful people I've met along the way, uh, I'd probably still be very, very depressed. So I want to thank all of you guys for um, getting me out of that rut. And uh, you really have. So, all right. But uh, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. And I hope I didn't bore you too much of uh, this Friday. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot to sew. Our show that I sewed but uh, right now it's the bag making business going on I might uh, stick my toes back into making some Easter bunnies I did that one year sold Easter bunnies with embroidery ears so I might uh, decide to do that again this year for Easter just to get some extra money to keep beautifying my sewing room up uh, but I'll see. I'll see how I feel when it gets closer to Easter, or at least closer to March. But uh, anyway, so I'll let you guys go. You guys go out and have a wonderful weekend. Go do something creative. But remember, whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord, and your blessings will always come back to you. God bless everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye.